Canon, you're a donkey company. Let's face it. Let's face reality when it hits us. Let's be open with who we really are. You make donkey accessories for donkeys in a barn, hoofs, little shoes for donkeys, and feed, hay. You certainly don't make cameras, that's for damn sure. What the hell is this looking at me right now? What are you? Everybody seems to think Canon colors are a good thing. Does this look like a good thing to you? What is coming out of that machine right now? Why are the reds a hue of purple? And why is my face alien-like? Hybrid alien rabbit species. We find out today, my friend, Canon has scammed us. They placed the color mishaps in our brains and they pretended it was good, but it's not. All I want is the perfect camera. All I want is the perfect camera. So we're filming on the glorious Sony a6300 with Zeiss 35mm f2.8, at 2.8 of course. Anybody who films at 3.5 should be thrown off a cliff and be fed off by seagulls. That, that's what should be your destiny. But we also have our little friend Canon M50 with the 22mm f2, also wide open, so to avoid the seagull death thing of the Sony users. You should avoid that. Now one obvious benefit of the Canon M50 is our friend Flippy Screen, Johnson. I purposefully hid him from you. Can I hide behind? Ah, uh, you piece of shit. Looking at the Canon M50 image though, I can't make it look good. I can't make, I don't know what to do with it. I've tried different profiles in the camera. People always say, oh, straight out of camera. It looks amazing, you don't even have to grade it. It's like, no, I have to grade it, and I can't grade it. The colors don't flex. They're not bendy, like they are on the Sony. How you doing, Sony? You get me. You make me beautiful even when I feel like I was hungover. Thank you, I appreciate that. This is my problem with Canon cameras though. They just look cheap. Something about them. The contrast, I lowered the contrast. I lowered the saturation. I got sharpness all the way down, but plus one. I did a little test. Seven just looks stupid. It was like over sharpened like a cat clawed me. And zero was too fuzzy. And pretty much one to three, one or two is de doable. <laughs> the battery just died on the little M50. That's another one of the downsides. Canon used the size that couldn't power a mouse on a trek to get a piece of cheese across the room. That's what size they use. LL21 mouse cheese battery. I hate those. Not that I have a microphone up here. Of course I don't. The audio just comes from wherever it needs to come from. Sony, you're filming a flippy screen right now. How does that feel? The irony. Are the, is it irony or a metaphor? Is it a metaphor? What's the word I'm looking for? Let's move on. Canon, this is your best lens for the M system. This is the best you can do. That's as good as it gets here. There is that 32 mil loser lens. Thing focuses slower than my grandma holding, trying to throw me a football after she baked a cake. Slow. Am I colorblind though? Like, does the Sony not look superior? Absolutely superior in every way? Just the colors, the sharpness, the detail, even the focus. Sure, you get me too. You get me too, but... Sony's just as good at it. Better, in my opinion, and the colors. What are you doing to me, Canon? It makes me wonder, what are the advantages of having a Canon camera now? Just assume that you have an external monitor. The free world. Oh god. Feel world. You should have been free world. Just change your name already. It's a better sounding name. Feel world. Who feels the world? The earth is flat. You can't feel that. Take that. Now don't get me wrong here. I appreciate the fact that you got a flippy screen. Can you focus on my hand? Is that good content? But I got an even bigger flippy screen there. It is annoying. It is annoying. Uh, there's a cable running. I don't like that. It's annoying. But it does work better than the flippy screen. 
So Sony technically superior if it's just a studio camera where you leave it there always. If you gotta start moving it around to your house, forget about it. If you have to bring it outside, forget your life. Canon has a slight edge in usability and then a steep decline in every other feature. Just the color cheapness, the cheapness of the whole image looks like shit. The build quality, the battery life, I'm starting to realize how reliable this focus is. Honestly, the Sony, if it wasn't for the stabilization, I would say that is the ultimate vlogging camera. You get the 10 to 18 stabilized lens, A6500 with the IBIS that helps another 2%. Stupid losers. Just hire Olympus, hire them. But if I'm being completely honest with you, Sony's autofocus is so reliable as well as their auto exposure just works so great. I can stop it down if I'm outside to say f5.6 like an absolute geek showing the background of his life. And then I know the auto ISO is just going to compensate and it does it really well. So I can, I don't have to worry about exposure or focus. All I have to worry about is framing. I don't have the flippy screen, but if you get a wide enough lens, you know eventually. Just like my little Sony AX. <laughs> That doesn't even exist. I actually did test out the Sony AX33 or 53. Let's go to Best Buy for a second and have some fun. Here's the camcorder people keep telling me to get. Oh, try this one. You'll love it. Does it look like I love it? Where do you zoom the thing? This is bullshit. It ain't wide enough. You want to vlog just like that? You want that in your life? You don't want that in your life. I'll do it. Oh, I can see the stabilization moving. The lens moves inside. Oh my god. That's fantastic. I'm gonna buy one. I could make that work in my life. Wow. It's lightweight. You sold me. You sold me. What kind of zoom we got on that? Oh my god. What's that guy gonna buy? Why won't it focus on him? What's he buying? Is he gonna regret his purchase? I bet he will. The Canon SL2. What a loser. Why would anybody buy you? The M50 exists. You're stupid. This is your only good feature. I'm gonna snap it off like an alligator would my arm if I tried to pet him. What a dumb camera. Can we turn it on? Oh, it is on. Oh, your battery life sucks. Ah, uh, you suck. This is the dumbest looking camera I've ever seen. It's like a tiny point and shoot, but it still has the big ass grip. It's not even comfy. Actually, it's fantastic. I want one. Oh, it's so tiny. It doesn't turn on. Now that's a defect right out of the box. I love it. I honestly want one. I'm literally holding the camera that debunks you. You loser GoPro. What a loser. Ah, you suck. The only fun thing about coming to Best Buy is looking for the open box items. That still seems very overpriced for an A6000. It's 40 years old. So Canon, I'm just wondering, what, what is your place in all this? Why do we need you? Just the flippy screen? Is that enough? I just can't imagine somebody buying a Canon camera knowing that a Sony camera exists. It's like so unfortunate. Like an M50, why would anybody buy that over an A6400 or 65 or even 63 now? Canon's working on shit like the SL3, like a slightly sideways version of the M50. Why are you wasting my time, you toddler camp, for dyslexic cake bakers? When I look at that EOS R system, where's the lenses? Where's the lenses that love me back the way I love them? None. There's none. The M system, they pretty much forgot about it. They put, they packed up the entire M system and put it in their grandmother's attic. Nothing ever comes out of the attic. It's just up there to never just to burn with your memories. So even the most basic bitch YouTuber, I just, I could not see recommending the Canon anything over a Sony, over a Panasonic, over a Fuji, maybe over a Fuji. Little Fuji fudgicles.
You could not focus on a hamster if it tried to bite your ass. You couldn't. I've tried it. In 30 years when Fuji updates their lens lineups to autofocus in video perfectly, then yes, they got something. They got their 10-bit. I'm actually addicted to 10-bit now. I've seen the difference. We'll do a side-by-side -side someday with the GH5S 8-bit versus 10-bit. It's noticeable. Completely noticeable. I need it for my mom's living room stuff. So I'm having fun with this little Sony. I can just set it up. It autofocuses on me. This was the problem with my G85 in the manual focus lens. I had to go up there and uh, yeah, do all this tweaky shit. I can just be here. High five. Oh. Oh, God. It does what it wants. It has a mind of its own. I'll stop. What are you doing, Canon? What was that? Did y'all see that? I just got up to pick this camera thing up just to show off. Look, it's not doing it. It's not doing it. It doesn't want to do it. 79% of the screen is now a Sony camera and you won't even... Oh, oh, I get it. I get it. You won't focus on the competition. You got to keep an eye on the competition important. Sony would never do that to me. Oh my god. Oh, it's a little overexposed. It does seem a little brighter. They're both auto ISO, but Sony ups it a notch. Is that what exposure compensation is for? Can I lower it and then the auto ISO will be a lower auto? Post it down below if I just life hacked ourselves. You can't hang your hat on color, Canon. Why would you think you could? Did you have a meeting about it? I bet you did. All right, fellas, we don't have a lot of the latest tech in our cameras, uh, admittedly. It's embarrassing, but we can focus on a couple key areas to capture the audience. Any ideas? How about we make our cameras like super colorful and just so vibrant, like you see it and it's just like rainbows and marshmallows. Marshmallows are white, Gary. They're white. Is that vibrant to you? Yeah, in your dark little world, maybe. We could focus on usability and make the camera so simple that a dyslexic, autistic, Catholic child could eventually run and manage our company. It's a lot of stereotype bashing there, Thompson. You're going to have the social justice warriors on our ass now. Thank you for that. Any other ideas? May I suggest we... We do a retro style camera where our, all the technology is from like 30 years past and it'll give people the feel good moment that they've been missing in the modern world. More a personal, like, oh, I remember that grandma's camera. We could do that. Davis, you're a goddamn genius. Let's start removing features ASAP, pronto, now, do it. 1080p, 21p, add it. Take it away then, add it, then take it away again. So I've lost hope in Canon for the future. Sony is paving the way. Nikon is following Sony, sort of like cyclists. So Nikon's the one behind that's catching the wind. Sony's doing all the work, but they're in the wind path and it's easier for them to follow. That's what Nikon's doing. Fuji coming up the rear, but they got a lot of work to rewrite their stupid photography pass. Focusing on photography cameras like losers. There's a buffalo standing next to a deer. Are, are they friends? It wasn't in focus. And they moved apart. You loser. <laughs> so this is getting a little long in the tooth. I'm ranting on Canon. Canon, you're cheap. You're like a Toyota Corolla from 1984. You still work, but nobody enjoys using you. It's certainly no Sony. I thought the A6300 had the worst 1080p. I kept comparing results online. This is phenomenal. Absolutely phenomenal. Sharpness is dumb. All these tests online, you see, oh, this one's sharper, it's better. Sharpness is the bane of my existence. I have a huge zit right here. Have you seen it? You better not. We don't need the sharpness. No, we do not. You let me cheat on my diet in privacy. Thank you. 
So we're done. Thank you, Canon, for making an action cam to compete with this one. That took a while. I will love it if you do that. Stabilization. Full frame sensor. 18 mil. F 2.8. That's all I need. It's not a lot to ask. So I'm gonna leave before this becomes a 21 minute video. Maybe it already is. Thank you for watching it. Thank you for buying a camera conspiracy shirt. Focus on the shirt. Oh, you're not doing it. Sony has a mind of its own. Sometimes it jumps to the back. That's fine. Jump in the back seat of my car. We'll go for a ride out to the country. I'm gonna go. So, to the country. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you in the next one.